Does a career counsellor charge high for just a 60-minute session? Let's consider they charge X amount. X can be any amount. Depending on the perception of a person, they value it low or high. So how to calculate and understand the value of a career counselling session? Professional service fees hinge on time, expertise and base costs. Career counselling involves three phases, pre-counselling, during counselling and post-counselling. Before counselling, assessment and preparation. First, gather information. The counsellor collects academic records, psychometric test results and other relevant data about the individual. Next, research and updates are essential. Staying informed on industry trends, education options and the job market is crucial for providing accurate guidance. Finally, setting up the session involves scheduling appointments, preparing materials and ensuring the counselling environment is both welcoming and confidential. During counselling, initial assessment, understanding the individual. The counsellor listens attentively, getting to know the individual's interests, values, skills and aspirations. Questioning and exploration. Ask probing questions to help the individual reflect on their strengths, weaknesses and personal goals. Career exploration. Introduce career options. Explore various careers covering job prospects, educational needs and daily responsibilities. Matching interests and skills. Assess how the individual's interests and skills align with potential careers. Goal setting and planning. Setting clear goals. Collaborate to establish clear, achievable career and education goals. Creating an action plan. Craft a plan detailing steps such as education, internships, networking and skill enhancement. post counseling Monitoring and follow-up. Regular follow-ups are crucial. Stay in touch with the individual to monitor their progress and offer continuous support. Additionally, plan adjustments may be necessary. Modify the action plan if needed and address any emerging challenges. Documentation record keeping is essential. Maintain records of sessions, action plans and data relevant to the individual's career path. Progress tracking is also important. Use documented information to track the individual's achievements and areas for improvement. Feedback and evaluation. First, let's talk about the assessment of the process. It's essential to evaluate the effectiveness of the counselling process by gathering feedback from the individual. This helps in understanding what worked well and what could be improved. Next, plan improvements. Based on the feedback and outcomes, adjustments should be made to the counselling process to better meet the individual's needs. Ethical considerations, respect and confidentiality are paramount. Always maintain the individual's confidentiality and respect their choices. Also, always ensure that the advice provided aligns with the individual's best interests and goals. This way, the counselling process remains both ethical and effective. Career counsellors' fees justify the invaluable support they offer for well-informed career and education decisions. Their expertise can make a significant difference in one's career path. Hit like if you agree the above justifies the fees of a career counsellor. Comment below what more can be added according to you.